hello everyone my name is ramchand and today's video i will show you that how can you add different app of speed and the vism software like desired speed maximum speed of different vehicles like bus like wagon like car like bike like rickshaw and like suzuki type vehicles so how to add these different type of speed in the vism software so today you will learn this and vism software so let's go to the vism software so i have different type of uh, let's me let's delete it so this was the previous work which we have done in the vism software so today task is to do the desired speed calculation so go to the base data and go to distribution and then desired speed so these are by default values like 5 km this is number 5 number 5 this is this is just the number and this is the 5 km per hour is the desired speed so this is the lower bound and this is the upper bound so these are the, the these are the desired speed so i will show you that how can you add different type of speed so these are from 44 to 53 i have added these all from my project survey like i have done this survey and which i have done two type of survey one is from away from university road and one is from towards university road so i have two type of roads one is away from university and one is towards university so this is the morning speed and this is the and this is the evening speed of away from university so i have taken the average and this is this is the desired speed this is the minimum and this is the maximum speed so i have already put these all data but i have left it just to for you that you can understand how to add these all the speeds and vision software we will uh, go through this project which i have done in my final year project so i will also learn you people so you i will I also teach you people so that you can also understand that how to add all these parameter and the vision software so this is the desired speed i am left with car so car desired speed is 42.25 so i will add just right click on this area and just add so 42.25 is away from university and this is the car speed so what is the minimum and what is the minimum maximum speed so the minimum is 38.5 like this is the 38.5 and the maximum is 46 so 38.5 so put here 38.5 and put here 46 so this so just right click on this thing and uh, you will uh, have to modify this graph a little bit like this is the actually the s graph uh, you can uh, you have you should study and the transportation like what is the s graph so this is the, actually the behavior speed graph how you will have to modify this so this is simple this is okay so double click on this thing and you will check that the behavior this is again unmodified so just modified it okay so now this is the car away from university and this is towards university i will add one more thing for you people that you can understand how to add another so i will add other like uh, i haven't added the rickshaw towards university so this is the rickshaw and towards university so the speed is 34.25 so just put here 34.25 is the towards university and this is the speed of rickshaw so so and what is the minimum maximum speed so the minimum speed is 31.5 and the maximum is 37 so i will just add the minimum at the maximum so let me check 31.5 and 37 so i will add 31.5 and 37 31.5 and this is 37 so i will add 37 and then i will just okay and then i will again go and modify a little bit so I will modify a little bit. You can also add three points for perfect modifications. Okay. So this is the way you have to add these all points. So I have added like this is the away from university. This is the bike. 
39.75 and this is 35.25 is the way from university rickshaw and this is the bus this is the wagon this is the suzuki and this is the bike of toward university this is the car of toward university this is bus of toward university and like so i have 10 type of data you can also check 10 oh sorry not 10 i have 12 like car bike rickshaw bus wagon suzuki and two other uh, two different roads so they will have two different type of speed so how to add this speed you i i hope you will understand that how you will add these different type if you have again some problem you can ask me at any time so we'll see okay one more thing you have we will have to save whatever you want to done and reason software okay, save it so you can uh, because uh, sometime it get just get disappeared because of some issue so whatever you done just save it again and again so and the next step in the next video i will show you that how to provide links and connector so for this this is very this is completion of my video and the next video i will show you that how to add connector so okay thank you